Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over the secret statues of Stardew Valley. If you like the video or you learned something, please consider subscribing. The first statue we're going to be going over is the Stone Juno statue. We're going over this one first because you can collect it as early as Spring's second. In Secret Note 14, we learn that someone hid something behind the community center, and that is the Stone Junimo statue. You don't need the Secret Note to unlock it, but that'll just give you the hint as to what you're looking for. This statue respawns every year on the second of spring, so you can collect as many as you want. Next, we're going to be covering the Owl statue. This one has a random chance every night to spawn somewhere on your farm, so you'll get a little owl sound effect and then you can go on your farm, find it, and keep it. Even though this isn't technically a statue, I'm also going to throw in the Strange Capsule. This one spawns the same way as the owl statue, but it has some very weird things that you can do with it. Normally what people do is they'll put it somewhere on their farm, and what'll happen is three days later, it will become an empty capsule. From there on out, you have a 1% chance of seeing a dark figure running between like bushes and trees in town. The strange capsule will not become a broken capsule if it's kept in a chest. And the last strange thing is if you put fairy dust on a strange capsule, it will just immediately become an empty capsule. For number four, we have our other secret note related statue. If you remember from my secret note video right here, secret note 19 gives you some directions without any idea of what you'll get. At the end of this road is a solid gold Lewis statue. There are also some crazy things you can do with this one. If you put it in town somewhere, where an NPC won't walk and destroy it, Lewis will collect it overnight and he'll leave some sort of weird plant thing behind. Not really sure what that's about. But anyway, you'll get an anonymous note asking you not to display their private projects and 750 gold as hush money. From there on out, the statue has a 90% chance to show up in Lewis's room and a 10% chance to show up in Marnie's room. You can collect it and put it in town and do that all again, but you can't keep scamming Pierre like that. He'll only give you the 750 gold one time. Now we're on to the three secret secret statues of Stardew Valley. To get the HMTGF statue, you need to first acquire a sea cucumber, which you can get from the ocean during summer or fall. And then you go behind Clint's shop into this little fenced off area and put the sea cucumber in this box. For the Ferogamon statue, you need a couple of different things. The first thing you need to do is get Vincent up to two hearts. A gift he really likes is grapes, so yeah, just pick some of those up off the ground and give them to him. The other thing you'll need is a strange bun. The easiest way to get one of these is to go to floor 80 of the mines and slay some shadow brutes. Once you have two hearts with Vincent and a strange bun, you can enter his room and put the strange bun in this toy box here, and you'll get the Frogamon statue. The third of the super secret Stardew statues, wow that's a tongue twister, can be unlocked if you have some duck mayo. The way to get this is just get a duck egg, put it in a mayonnaise machine, and yeah, there you go. From there, you're going to want to take your mayonnaise to the saloon, go into this back room, and put it in this box. And there you go, you have the pinky lemon statue. Saving best for last, the iridium crobus statue is actually probably the hardest one to get. What you need to do is you need to raise your fishing level to level 10. Since you need to be at level 15, you need to eat some food that will give you a buff. The easiest way to do this is still kind of complicated, but essentially you're going to want to cook a sea foam pudding with Keys seasoning. That will give you five extra levels of fishing, and then you'll go over to these sewers and fish into the water. And there you go. That's how to get the Iridium Crobus statue and all the secret statues in Stardew Valley. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if I missed a statue down in the comments below. And I hope you have a fantastic day.